People that live here at this homeless encampment by I-90 and Freya have started to move into the Catalyst project. Some people here tell me they've been waiting for this for almost four months. After months of work and backlash, Catholic Charities Catalyst Project opens up its doors this week. Lead peer supporter for Jewel's Helping Hands, Cheryl Brown says she couldn't be more excited about the Sunset Boulevard project. It feels so good. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. There's still some like bumps in the road, but they're working with us and they're working it out. So I feel like it's going to be successful as long as we all keep working together. Brown says she refers people from the homeless encampment who she knows will step up for the program. One person who's moving in is Mikhail Cly. He says he's looking forward to a new start. I know I'm going to miss this place a little bit, but uh, honestly, um, I'm just I'm just ready, you know, to have a, access to a shower, warm bed. More are expected to make the move in the coming weeks, but Julie Garcia with Jules Helping Hands says the recent warnings to clear the camp is hurting their work. It's actually impeding the work that we're actually doing. Every time they come, we have to stop what we're doing. Our day shuts down, everything shuts down. The building's expected to house up to 100 people. People who qualify for the Catalyst Project will have a room to stay in and then get support to transition into permanent housing. This is a safe place to go. It's warm. Um, I'm going to use it as transition and just, you know, try to get a job and stay working. Jules Helping Hands hopes to fill up the Catalyst Project within a month. Jules Helping Hands says that they'll move about four people into the Catalyst Project every day, and they hope to increase that number once they start to become more familiar with the intake process. In Spokane, Nathan Hyun, Crime 2 News.